You notice the big change yet? The amount of money you may be spending on the essentials like groceries. Yeah, the sticker shock is taking some by surprise. And you guessed it, the pandemic is part of the problem. Consumer investigator Hank Winchester is live. And Hank, prices are expected to keep climbing. Uh, Kimberly Devon, they certainly are. I was, I was one of those taken by surprise this weekend. I couldn't believe how much I'd spent on groceries this week compared to just a few weeks ago. And it doesn't matter whether you're hitting your local grocery store like Ferndale Foods here behind me or one of the big box stores like Costco or Sam's Club, you're going to notice you're spending more. Come along with us as we do a little grocery shopping today. Have you noticed some items cost a lot more than they did a year ago? Well, we sure have. Take a look. For example, one dozen eggs now up 7%. One pound of ground chuck will cost you 7% more than it did this time last year. A loaf of bread up 11% and the same thing with a gallon of milk up 11%. So what's causing the big price jump right now? Well, the bottom line is less supply, more demand, more people eating at home because of the pandemic. And the cost of getting items to the store it's costing more. There are fewer drivers and gas prices are already starting to jump. There was also heavy crop damage across parts of the Midwest this winter. Here at Holiday Market in Royal Oak, the store's still busy with shoppers. After all, we still need our groceries. But here and at other stores across the country, some shoppers have noticed some items cost a little bit more now. Cheese and stuff like we try to stay away because the prices have gone up. I would expect that we're going to see prices continue to rise over the next six to 18 months. Another thing that could cost you a lot more soon, gas. In fact, analysts predict a big jump by the month of July. The reason? Surging crude oil prices, a harsh winter, and also transportation issues related to the pandemic. And that price jump expected right before the busy 4th of July travel season. Uh, you know, as for uh, the gas itself, of course, you can get discounts uh, through some of uh, those box clubs uh, like Costco, Sam's Club, even Kroger offering discounts if you spend money within the store itself. We're live here tonight. Hank Winchester. Help me, Hank. Yeah, Hank, during your research, any indication of when grocery prices might start to drop again? And Kimberly, it's really dependent on getting the items to the stores themselves. That seems to be the big problem. Not enough drivers, uh, not enough delivery making its way into local communities. So they expect those prices to keep rising through the end of the year. Yeah. Back to you. Okay. Hank, thank you.